Hello big fans, welcome to Andy's Beer Views. The beer today from Paul Anna is this Munich Helle. It's coming at 4.9% ABV. These guys do a lot of very solid German beer, beers and they've all been really decent. And they should be, they've got a good pedigree. They go back to 1634. So they've been brewing a long time. Let's crack it open. Let's see what this lager is like, shall we? Oh, it's some nice, um, nice aromas off that. A bit malty, a bit grainy. Well, Hellas means bright, and that is a very bright looking um, beer. It's a clear, pale, golden colour. Plenty of lag like carbonation and a little white head perched on top of it. It looks good. It looks good. Um, this in Munich has become the beer of choice. In Munich, if you order a beer, you'll get a Hellas. You'll get a beer just like this. You get some really cracking aromas off this. There's a cracking bready aroma coming off it a little bit of citrus and almost like a hint of um, honey sweetness this is available by the way in lots of I can't remember who picked this up from I might have picked this up from Tesco it's available in lots of supermarkets now Smells good. Um, bready, citrus, and just that little bit of like a honey type sweetness, which I always get with these beers. Right, let's taste it. Cheers, everybody. It is a refreshing beer. It's a strange one. Um, if I was to think about doing, uh, and I probably will get around to doing it sometime, a little series on different beer styles. Because this is a strange one. It's not, you know, while this has been going on since 1834, as a lager, as a style, Hellas is actually relatively new. 1800s, I think it is, something like that. So what I was going to do is it's just a little bit of a series of um, some... Um, probably important beer styles and just talk about them a little bit and just... Just a little bit of learning from them because they, because it is a fascinating this particular one I think is a really fascinating um, fascinating style uh, and I'd love to tell you all about it. So we got a bready citrus aroma. Flavour wise, it's pretty similar really. It's bready, it's really smooth, some really good carbonation going on in there. A little hint of sweetness, but obviously from that bready malt, you're going to get a little bit of that from those pale malts. And just in the distance, you got that little lemony flavour. A little spicy flavour coming through just in the distance, but it's good. It's a nice beer. As a style, it's probably not as exciting, it's probably not as bitter, probably not as flavoursome as a Pilsner. But that's the idea behind this one, it's not overly hopped. There'll be a, a small amount of hops just to really start to build that flavour. In fact, after saying that, this has probably got a little bit more flavour than I'd expect from a Hellas. It's actually quite good. It is good. It's maybe not as um, rich as I was hoped. Certainly not as um, strong, like I said, certainly not as strong hops as a traditional Pilsner. So you're not going to get a massive uh, lemony or citrusy flavour coming through. 
But it's coming, it's good, it's fresh, it's crisp, it's refreshing. For style, that is lovely, that is that is really nice. Um, monk on the front there, because it was it was actually started off in a was actually started off in the monastery this um, this brewer until we moved down. But yeah, that's good. I would happily score that eight out of ten. Eight out of ten for managed beer reviews. Thanks for joining today, really appreciate it. Comment, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. Until next time everyone enjoy your beers. Cheers.